don't know, dude. It just puked all the oil out. Hey guys, what are we doing? Floating and gambling. We're gambling and floating. What day is it? Saturday. Tuesday. <laughs> Where were we supposed to be today? Detroit. Detroit. <laughs> yeah. This is not Detroit at all. No. Are, are we even in the right state? I believe no. 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 We're, we're in the right state of mind. <laughs> oh, there you go. Where were we Thursday? Morgantown, West Virginia. Okay. How many vehicles did we have? We had four. We had four? Yeah. What happened? So we had we had the Gen 5 mm -hmm. towing the Rainbow. Yeah. And then we had the Suburban yep. towing the Xterra. Yeah. That's all, right. all true. Yeah. Well, what had happened was... What happened was... What happened was is that me and Mel went to pull out of the driveway. We drove about 10 feet. And the bumper, bumper, the bumper on the Xterra caved in, which yep. is where we had the toe fixed. The toe that's bar. The toe bar fixed. That is all true. Yeah, so that's all true. <laughs> so we couldn't tow it at that point. So we had decided that we're just going to drive the Xterra. Obviously. Obviously. Because, like, we, we did drive the Xterra some. Like, I drove it a mile or two and... Other than the marbles that was in the engine when you start it, mm -hmm. uh, it seemed pretty all right. Like the air conditioning even worked. We've had it for about two months. Yeah. Mm. Like the air conditioning even worked. Like it seemed okay. Yeah, we've had it for about two months and we've drove it here and there. You know? Yeah. So we thought, you know what, we'll just drive it. So then what had happened was. So how? So we went and gassed up. We went and gassed up. And we switched. We got rid of the Gen 5. Yes, we got rid of the Gen 5, so we had the Burbles was towing the Harlequin, and we are driving the Xterra. Yep. So we made it to Waynesburg, Pennsylvania, which if you know is about 20 miles. 20 miles, give 20 or take, miles. 20, 30 miles. Yeah, from, from Morgantown. Without looking it up. I'll yeah. put up a... That's all true. If this, yeah. if this makes it all in the video, I'll put up a map, a map showing yeah. like how far we made it. So then there was catastrophic failure. Now when you say catastrophic failure... I mean smoke coming from behind, the oil light going on. We had just topped off the oil, mind you. We and filled the tank. And filled the tank up. There's a full tank. There's about, there's about you know, $55 worth of gas just that's, sitting in Waynesburg, Pennsylvania right now. That's... <laughs> yeah. That, there's, that's, that's three or four gallons these days. <laughs> so... Side of the road in Waynesburg. Yes. So we have a friend who lives in Waynesburg. He did not answer the phone, but we showed up on his door step and we said, hey, we have a car that we need to leave here for a weekend, possibly longer because the S is F. So uh, for those that don't know, if the engine doesn't run, you have no power brakes. There's no vacuum on the brake booster and you have no power steering. The power steering pump isn't turning, obviously. And by this point, we were like, we're not going to make it to Detroit tonight. Yeah. Let's regroup. We've still got a day. we still got one gambler. Yeah, we've still got one gambler. And I mean, the Suburban, I think the Suburban would make it. Yeah, the Suburban will make it. The Suburban's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, verb then, verb. so then we took on Friday. So Mark, you so, tell So starting your... Friday, Mark, Friday. everybody, this is Mark. <laughs> He's just been here. Okay, yeah, so after realizing the Xterra's demise, um, it kind of came together that I didn't have to drive to Toledo to uh, meet up with the crew and stuff. So I um, wrapped my head around Morgantown, and once I realized I had some extra time, I definitely took advantage of it. So you didn't, you weren't bringing a vehicle, you were just pitting, yeah, basically. Yeah, just, just wanted to be a crew member and just be, you know, uh, <laughs> you know just uh, some elbow grease for a wrench, you know. And um, with that being said, yeah, I got out of town about uh, 30 minutes after midnight, fueled up, and just made a straight shot to Morgantown. And uh, right around the last hour, man, I was totally driving by Braille, just like going, <laughs> off, the, going off the mayonnaise, crossing over the mustard. And luckily, you know, it's just me out there. And uh, but yeah, made it to town and and shot just rolled into Brucey's house at sunrise. 
took a picture of the Harlequin and just was like, I'm here, going to bed. <laughs> Talk to you in a minute. And and from there, yeah, we'll pick up the story of, yeah, when we were leaving for the gambling. <laughs> so then that takes us, I guess I could be up. Dude, this is going to be too. You ain't never had nobody do a trip report on the river. I screwed that all up. <laughs> so Friday starts. We have, we still have the Harlequin and we still have the Suburban. And I wanted to make sure, if anybody's watched the video of the first Gambler we did, I stopped because it was just us in a Suburban with one gear and one brake. And I, I wanted a backup plan. I wanted a contingency. So we start off, we load up, uh, we set up the, the Harlequin to change to flat toe. The to do that, uh, we have to put in some Bluetooth axles, and we have to disconnect the rear drive shaft because it is an automatic now. So we're driving through Pittsburgh traffic, and I decide that we should not take the Pittsburgh uh, interstate. We should take the toll road, and. That dollar is the best dollar that I've ever spent because there was no one on that road. I mean, it was a four-lane highway in Pittsburgh, five miles from the airport, and it it was less crowded than this river. Like, there was... And that's true. There was no one on it. So, in the rear view, I saw the car shift like that, and I thought, hmm, that's weird. And so... I look in the side view mirror and then I notice the tire just leave. It's just going down and it went to the passenger side on the right side of the road and passed us. So it's just spinning down the road, spinning and going. And at this point in my head, I'm thinking, oh man, please just crash. Please just go into a ravine. Please just stop rolling. Please stop rolling. It is incredible how far a tire will roll with nothing attached to it when it's going 70 miles an hour. Like, it wants to go. So we pull over. The wheel crashes into a jersey barrier and stops. And we get to the side of the road, recover the tire. So, broke down on the side of the road. Uh -huh. We left the Harlequin... Uh, left it on the side of the road we, we put a uh, sheets bag in the window and so we went to a pick and pull place not knowing if they had the right uh, merchandise for us and then we find out that there's two locations and we have in fact went to the wrong one so we just traveled about an hour in pittsburgh traffic and then we were told that there's another place just 10 minutes down the road, which was 30 minutes. And then we find this wonderful emporium of all these wrecked cars and you just go find what you need and take it off yourself and pay for it. Mark, what did we find there? Oh man, we found, uh, found a crusty Mercedes Benz. We found a, a 200 SX. And then lo and behold, we found a Nissan Xterra with a blown engine. Oh yeah, 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 definite blown engine. We tried to hawk off the old, X the other Xterra to this guy who was like a Xterra fan. He's an Xterra guy. Yeah, yeah. We thought we had it. We were so happy. We were like, "This is our guy." And yeah, no. <laughs> He's like, cut. Yeah. He didn't need any windows. Yeah. And it was another one, same color. Yeah. So we had to choose between the silver wheels or the or the gold, like limited wheels, and and naturally. You know, gotta go limited. Yeah. Gotta go gold, man. Yeah. I'm saying not just that. The uh, the one that was the limited had two matching sizes and brands. Yeah. The other one, I don't know if it did, and they were holding air. Yeah, they were holding air. Yeah, we didn't even put air. We didn't even. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't even check. Not even the like. Yeah. Let's yeah, just... see what PSI it's at. Yeah. No. It, no, no, I kicked no. it and it didn't move. Yeah. It. It kicked it and it didn't bark. Yeah. She yeah. told us it was just a little dry rotted when we bought it. So as long as we weren't planning on putting it on a different frame, it would probably be okay. Oh, Mark's back there. My my big head's blocking him. Mm -hmm. We went to the junkyard or the yes. U pool. The U pool. We put the tires back on. 
we turned around, we went home, we checked the torque on the lugs every half hour. You can see our great footage of them changing out those tires, which was a little bit sketchy at times. Actually, it was kind of sketchy changing out those tires because there was two adapters on one wheel and one on the other. There was a complete, like, it completely sheared one. Uh, there was an adapter and then a spacer on one. Uh, and then the front, front adapter had sheared some of the lugs as well. A lot to deal with. Yes. Mark. That's all true. That's all What's true. What's ABG? Always be gambling. Always be gambling. Always be gambling. And floating. 